Even after giving tens of billions of dollars of subsidies, tax breaks and other incentives to U.S. car makers and semiconductor firms to manufacture in the U.S., it seems the U.S. industries of tomorrow are still not competitive today. The latest tariffs against China imports include steel and aluminum, semiconductors, batteries, critical minerals, solar cells and cranes worth about $18 billion. While U.S. President Joe Biden blames what's been dubbed China's overcapacity and unfair competition in the technologies of tomorrow, Beijing says it's just delivering what the world wants, high-quality products at competitive prices. The Chinese Foreign Ministry says the fast-growing Chinese new energy industries are what the world economy needs for a green transition. China always opposes the unilateral imposition of tariffs which violate World Trade Organization rules and will take all necessary actions to safeguard its legitimate rights. These latest tariffs follow a two-year review of the Trump-era tariffs imposed on over $350 billion worth of Chinese goods by the Trump administration. Those tariffs have remained in place throughout Biden's first term as president and he has added severe restrictions on the export of high-end semiconductors and other vital technologies to China. Washington says it's all for national security reasons. China says it's all about stopping China's rise. The Chinese Commerce Ministry urged Washington to stop its unilateralism mentality, adding that the move is exacerbating the tensions between the world's two biggest economies. President Xi has just wrapped up a European tour where he announced EV ventures in Hungary and a willingness to work with European leaders. As the U.S. unveiled these new tariffs against Chinese electric vehicle makers, the German Chancellor Olaf Scholz said the move was counterproductive. I would like to point out the fact that currently, 50 percent of electric vehicle imports from China come from Western brands that produce them there themselves and export them to Europe. We should not forget that European manufacturers, even some American, but European manufacturers are successful in the Chinese market and also sell a lot of vehicles produced in Europe in China. In the U.S. is a phrase that all politics are local. And it's probably no coincidence that many of the manufacturers protected by these tariffs are in key swing states in the presidential election in November. President Biden, it seems at the moment, is happier to protect jobs than create productivity in the U.S. economy. Nathan King, CGTN, Washington.